Okay guys, so we're finally ready to finish up our color wheel. All we need to do is add some labels and our tertiary color. So let's start with our labels. Right now, while the page is dry, we're gonna go in and we are going to label our primary colors with the letter P. So for review, those are yellow, red, and blue. Now what we're going to do is we are going to mark our secondary um, colors with the letter S. So we have orange, violet, and green. They get a letter S. So we have our primaries and our secondaries. And just for quick review, we already know that two primary colors mixed together make a secondary color. And the secondary colors are always located between the two primaries that are used to make them. That's one of the really cool things about the color wheel is it helps you to understand the relationships of the colors to one another. I've also gone in and I've erased the numbers that I set up to help you find the locations except for the ones we're going to use today to put in our tertiary colors. So let's get started. So we have our first tertiary color that we're going to mix would be yellow-orange. And of course, we know that's made by mixing yellow and orange together. So I'm gonna go ahead, I've already mixed mine up, and I am going to paint a yellow-orange circle in between my yellow and my orange. And again, it does not have to be a perfect circle. You're just gonna do the best you can. And it should look different from the yellow and different from the orange. We've already talked too about how to adjust that so that if it looks too yellow, you're gonna add a little bit more orange. And if it looks too orange, you're going to add a little bit more of the yellow. Okay, next we're going to do red-orange, and again, I've got my color mixed up already, um, so I'm just going to put that on my brush, and I am going to paint that right in between my orange and my red, because those are the two colors that are used to make it. That's at the number three. Again, if your color is looking uh, too red, add more orange. If it looks too orange, add more red. Okay, so we're always adjusting our colors as needed. I'm rinsing my brush. Our next color that we would have would be red violet. It's located between red and violet, therefore, our next color is red violet. So that's going to be located at the five. And of course, as I've been saying, adjust your colors as needed. If you get it on there, it's too red, add more violet. If you put it on there and it's too violet, add more red. Okay? I'm going to rinse my brush out. My next one is going to be blue violet because it's located between violet and blue. Always adjust your color as needed. So as the colors dry on the page, you'll see them start um, to appear a little bit more clearly on the screen for you. And you should be noticing this gradual shift in the colors as we move around the color wheel. So our next color is going to be blue-green. <clears throat> That's located at the nine. And then our last color that we're going to add today is our yellow-green, which goes with the number 11. 
got a little bit bigger than the others, but that's okay. You don't have to be perfect. Okay. <clears throat> and there you have it. You can see the shift and colors, how the colors adjusted. And now we're going to just finish this color wheel up. Um, if you want to wait until it dries before marking it, you can. It might be a good idea for you. I'm going to work very carefully. So I'm going to label these with a letter T for tertiary. So yellow orange, tertiary, red orange is a tertiary, red violet is a tertiary, blue violet is a tertiary, blue green is the tertiary, and yellow green is our last tertiary. Okay, so we have a total of 12 colors on our color wheel. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna erase those numbers that were left behind. And of course, I am not going to use my hand to wipe those off because if I do, I'm probably going to smear some of my paint that I just put on and that would be very, very frustrating. So I'm going to leave this for a second. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to connect my yellow to my blue with a dotted line my yellow and my red and all I'm doing right now is just showing that these are my primary colors and they're set up like a triangle on the color wheel now we're gonna do the same thing with our secondary colors we're gonna come here I'm gonna connect the dashed or dotted line green to orange orange to violet, and violet to green, okay? So I'm showing that these relationships happen. Connecting these, both are connected with a triangle. If you wanna go back in and put a curved line back to show that this is a circle, you can. And this is just a great reference to have uh, in your visual journal to help you remember when you're working how to make various colors and what the relationships are. Okay, so you're going to finish yours up today and I can't wait to see how you did.